Ryan Carter Poston was born on December 30, 1982, in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. He had three younger sisters, Allison, Catherine, and Elizabeth Carter. Ryan attended Blessed Sacrament School in Fort Mitchell. He later attended Indiana University, where he triple majored in history, geography, and political science. Once he graduated from college, he went to law school at the Salmon Chase College of Law at Northern Kentucky University in Highland Heights. After completing his Juris Doctor degree, Ryan began working as an attorney in Cincinnati, Ohio. In 2011, Ryan, who was 28 years old at the time, met 19-year-old Shayna Hubers on Facebook. Ryan and Hubers began dating soon after. At the time they began dating, Hubers was a psychology student at the University of Kentucky in Lexington. She graduated cum laude and was pursuing a master's degree in school counseling. The couple reportedly had a volatile relationship and broke up several times over an 18-month period. On October 12, 2012, Shayna went to Ryan's apartment uninvited in Highland Heights, Kentucky. Neighbors heard loud yelling back and forth between them as Ryan was heard telling her to get out. That night, Ryan had a date with Miss Ohio 2012 Audrey Bolt. He planned to meet her for drinks and to play pool at a local bar, but unfortunately, he never showed up. After neighbors heard screaming, they heard a loud gunshot followed by five additional shots shortly after. About 15 minutes later, Shayna dialed 911. Ma'am, I have, I have a, 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 um, well, I, I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. Okay, where are you at? I'm at 12 Meadow Lane, Highland Heights, Kentucky. 1076. Okay, 12 Meadow Lane, are you in a house or an apartment there? It's an apartment, it's apartment suite. Is it Meadow, anything else, Meadow View or something? No, 12 Meadow Lane, ma'am, I killed him in the middle. Okay, 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 tell me again, tell me again what unit you're in, it's not showing on my computer. It's 10, I've seen it 10. Okay, you're 12 Meadow Lane, unit number 10. Okay, hold on, hold on. What did you kill him with? Tell me where the gun is right now. The gun is in the house. Where at though, ma'am? Tell me where it's at. I, I laid it on the bookshelf. Where at? Lay it on a shelf? On the bookshelf. It's, it's where are you? I'm standing about 10 feet from his dead body. <laughs> okay, are you sure that he is dead? He's, he's dead, ma'am. He's completely dead. Okay. And how long ago did you shoot him?
and he picked me up and and was carrying me out of the house and I said, Let me get my things at least if we're gonna break up and and he wouldn't let me get my things and when I reached around to try to get my things he I can hear myself echoing in the background, ma'am. It, it's just this phone system. This phone system has got a delay. And he he pushed me down from from the door all the way to the couch. And when they come here, they'll see how far that is. He threw me across the room, and <laughs> and I was very startled. I was laying on the floor. Okay. All right. And I killed him. Shayna was arrested and brought in for questioning the following day. In the middle of him doing something with his arm or saying something crazy, he shot him. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done? You know? And and he was laying with his face on the table, like twitching. And so I knew he was going to die a very slow and painful death. I knew he was already dead, you know, and within the next 20 seconds, within the next two minutes, I knew he was going to be dead. And he was in a lot of pain. He was twitching, he was moaning, but he was ultimately dead. And so I shot him enough time to kill him so that he wouldn't suffer at that point, which was a few more times. And he, I shot him, I think I shot him twice, thought he was completely dead and he was laying there still twitching and making noises. And I shot him in the head. I probably should have left it there. But I knew he was going to die. Mm -hmm. Or have a very deformed face. And you were concerned. And I knew, oh no, he would have died. He was already dying. He was already, he was dying. But I just walked around the table and shot him where I knew he would die immediately. It's fast. His obsession with guns killed him. You know, I would have never, I'm so Democrat, I would have never touched a gun in my life until I dated. One of the commonalities of a sociopath is pathological lying. Here, Shayna states she's never held a gun until she met Ryan, yet about a year prior to meeting him, she had posted this picture of herself at the gun range on her Facebook profile. This is an example of a sociopath naturally lying to make themselves appear as the victim. put his arm across the table and there's a lamp and he had put his arm across the table and had it in my face and was screaming at me at the top of his lungs after he had thrown me around the room and was saying emotionally to me you're a f***ing hillbilly I I hate you. I hate everything about you for what you are and my family. He was screaming and he was he had his hand on the table and he wasn't completely standing up. He was like this. He was like he was sitting he was announced it when I shot him. He was went like this. Literally. That's when I knew he was dead. Or close to it mm -hmm. and twitching. And that's and I couldn't I let him, I still, even though the hurt, I 
still enough of me loved him that I couldn't stand to watch him twitch. I knew he was going to die or have a completely deformed face. He's very vain. One of our last conversations we had that was good was that he wants my best friend who's a dentist to do his veneers and wants to get a nose job. Just that kind of person. And I shot him right here. I gave him his nose job. He wanted a broke it. I'm not your typical murderer. No, I'm not someone that you see on the He said, you're just a hillbilly from Kentucky. And I am. If I, if the hillbilly came out of me, <laughs> I took that blood. Shayna was indicted for Ryan's murder on December 20th, 2012. On January 16th, 2013, she entered a plea of not guilty to the murder charges. Two and a half years after the incident, Shayna's murder trial began on April 13th, 2015. She had remained in the Campbell County Jail since her arrest, unable to meet her bail. Prosecutors argued that the motive for the murder was that Ryan wanted to end the couple's relationship. Defense attorneys continued with their contention that the shooting was in self-defense and that Shayna was a victim of domestic abuse. As part of their case, the prosecution, led by Michelle Snodgrass, put on text message evidence that showed Shayna's obsession with Ryan. Several witnesses, including Ryan's family members, Audrey Bolt, and Shayna's former cellmate, testified for the prosecution. The status was my son wanted her not to be around, and the status was she kept coming around. And I said, if you leave now, maybe in the future, you two can get together because I have found that life is about timing. And I said, and your timing is just not right. Peter Carter testified that the day before his son's death, Ryan told him about an upcoming date with Audrey and was afraid to tell Shayna about it. Audrey stated that on the night of the murder, she and Ryan had planned to meet at a Milford, Ohio bar for drinks at 9.30 and that she had been looking forward to it. I found him very entertaining and that led me to accept an invite to go on a date with him. Shayna's former cellmate, Cecily Miller, also testified. What defense did she tell you she intended to pursue? The wife battered syndrome. Wife battered syndrome is a pattern of signs and symptoms displayed by a woman who has suffered persistent intimate partner violence, whether psychological, physical, or sexual, from her male partner. And did she tell you, what did she tell you she was going to claim had occurred to support that defense? That he beat her and raped her, sodomized her. And did she tell you whether those things were true? They was not true. That's what she was going to say for her defense. Miller also said that Shayna discussed legal strategy with her, saying she was going to plead insanity, but she was too smart because she has the IQ of Einstein. She said that Shayna bragged about killing her boyfriend, saying that she laughed about shooting Ryan in the face and giving him the nose job he always wanted. Shayna did not take the stand in her own defense, but she relied on her police interrogation tape in which she maintained the killing was in self-defense. On April 23, 2015, after five hours of jury deliberation, Shayna was found guilty of Ryan's murder. Four months after being convicted, she was sentenced to 40 years in prison. Could you tell the jury your name, please? My name's Katie Carter. Katie, how... Are you related to Ryan? Ryan's my brother. And I guess I'll go ahead and ask you, explain to the jury what you have with you. Because I'm 30 years old, I don't need to bring Teddy Bear up with me. Um, this Teddy Bear was made by Jay's sister. This is Ryan's shirt. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. That's only a, a voicemail. <laughs>